Let me just start with you, Faraza. Where exactly are you located? Are you, re are you at the cemetery already or still en route there? Uh, uh, Houghton, Houghton Mosque, Houghton Mosque. I'm not in West Park Cemetery, I don't know where you guys get. West Park Cemetery, anyway. Well, for us, what time can we expect the processions to actually reach the mosque this morning? Good, good morning, Kay, and good morning to all our viewers. Yeah, Kay, generally I would be with you uh, in studio, of course, doing sports for Vuka Africa. But today is a special day. Today is a different day. Today we are remembering one of the icons, one of the greats, a man. He is the reason why we are here today, of course, Ahmed Katrada. Now you want to know the starting? Well, this is what's going to happen. The body will leave the Masjid El Furqan. It's the mosque here in Houghton at around about half past nine, quarter to ten, and it will proceed to the West Park Cemetery, where, of course, programs will be there, ministers, dignitaries, and, of course, some of the most influential people that, of course, fought against apartheid for so many years will be there, of course, to remember a man who absolutely blew us away with the way he was, the way he fought, his his dignity, his passion to make sure that apartheid was eradicated along with Nelson Mandela and of course so many other people. So yeah, it's going to be a long day, but it's definitely going to be a one special day. Well, for us, just uh, staying with us uh, there, let me just uh, cross over to uh, Lemokhan Fouke, our reporter. Uh, Lemokhan, just tell us where you're stationed uh, this morning. A very good morning to you, Kyora and thank you very much. Well, I am just outside Ahmed Katrada's home in Kilani, and uh, this is where we saw yesterday a lot of political figures coming to pay their last respects to the great Ahmed Katrada. And what we can expect uh, for today uh, at 10 a.m., we will be heading out to the cemetery in West Park, where the prayers and final uh, 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 prayers and burial services will take place and we also know that there's a political tribute session that will take place. We're expecting to see the likes of a former president uh, Khalima Mutlante who's also a member of uh, the Ahmed Kathrada Foundation and as well as a uh, 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 anti-apartheid uh, stalwart uh, Sophie Williams de Brain who's also said to be speaking including a former um, a Robin Island uh, prisoner. But just going back Back to yesterday, I just want to take you through some of what the people were saying about the late uh, Ahmed Kathrada. We spoke to his nephew, Aziz Kathrada, and uh, just talking about some of his fondest memories with his uncle, saying that uh, he remembers when he was a young child as they were visiting him in, in, in Robben Island when he, was a, when he was in solitary confinement for six months. And he's saying uh, to him uh, that, you know, uncle, I'm sure being in a, in a solitary confinement for six months will surely drive one up the wall and uh, uh, his response to that Ahmed Kathrada saying that uh, you know um, well who is to say that uh, I am not crazy and they had a lovely chuckle about it and that just goes to tell you um, the kind of person that he was and that he will be remembered as someone who had uh, a great sense of humor incredibly humble as well as uh, someone who dedicated his life to the struggle of uh, fighting um, apartheid in our country and I'm here with my colleague Edwin Kaswani, who was here at his home outside um, yesterday until in the evening. And uh, perhaps he can shed light on what some of the people that were coming in here paying uh, those last respects were saying. We know that uh, Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa was also here, and uh, the Treasurer General um, of the ANC, Sizwe uh, Mkise, was also here. And perhaps he can shed us more light on that. Edwin? Yeah, yeah, Philip Mkiza was here last night. Um, it, uh, he was part of the dignitaries that arrived late evening. Um, and surprisingly also EFF President Julius Malema came to pay his respects. And uh, afterwards he uh, jetted off to uh, Pretoria in his uh, swanky Mercedes. Um, Gweda Mantashe uh, also arrived. And uh, there was also former uh, finance minister, Mr. Trevor Manuel. He arrived with his wife, uh, Maria Ramos. So there was a whole host of uh, dignitaries who were coming in uh, and out to come and pay their respects. Uh, there was a, a condolences book uh, in the foyer. They would uh, meet the family, um, you know, pass on their condolences. And when they came out, uh, they would uh, go to the book and uh, leave uh, some messages there. So it's uh, quite an interesting um, array of people who came here. Um, as you will know, uh, Ahmed Kadrada wrote a letter to uh, President Jacob Zuma asking him to, to step down 
Um, and this was the common theme yesterday um, across all the dignitaries that we spoke to, saying that he left uh, you know, South Africa in a period that is uh, in turmoil. Um, you know, and uh, Kalima Mutante, of course, who is the uh, part of the trustees of the uh, Kathrada Foundation, um, will be uh, uh, at the cemetery and will be paying tribute. You know, um, Ahmed Kathrada is uh, one of the uh, Rivonia trialists. Uh, there's only two now left, um, Dennis Goldberg and uh, Andrew Langeni. You know, he was with uh, Nelson Mandela, uh, Raymond Mshaba, Govan Becky. Um, and, you know, it's a generation that is leaving us now. Um, and, uh, you know, the, the, the other theme that was mentioned was how will the young people then know uh, where they come from, know all these str uh, struggle heroes? Um, and, and a suggestion from um, Advocate George Bezos, who, of course, was involved in the Rivonia trial, uh, was that, uh, and, and also Freni Ginoala, they feel strongly about the fact that our universities and our schools need to change their curriculum, their history curriculum, and start teaching youngsters about these struggle heroes um, that are uh, leaving us. Um, as uh, you know, we've uh, found out yesterday uh, that uh, the uh, uh, Robben Island prisoner, uh, Ahmed Kathrada, left us at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning, and since then there's been tributes pouring in uh, from across the political spectrum. Of course, Edward. And just on that very same note, uh, we understand that uh, also a lot of people were saying that, you know, in as much as this is a sad time, especially for the family, for the country, it is time for us to look within ourselves and try and engrave some of those uh, personality or characteristics that uh, Ahmed Kathrada carried and uh, left a footprint of. And how do we look at uh, 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 some of those characteristics and em embrace them and, and also in moving his legacy forward how do we make sure that as a nation we produce more of uh, these kind of people that are celebrated not only in south africa but across the world well we'll get back to our reporters there we have Faraz patel uh, um, outside the masjid al Khama mosque we have lemo khang and edwin khaswe in kilani just outside of the ahmed kathrada home just keeping us in in in, in the loop regarding um, updates as the procession is expected to leave from the mosque at about 10 a.m to get to the west park cemetery as mr ahmed kathrada will be laid to rest